<laughs> hey. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you a very, 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 very late July empties. Low buy-ish update. I'll explain that in a minute. And my pan your way to 5k update. So we're going to start with my empties for the month of July. I know this is really late. I have just been really behind in posting my empties videos because they take so long to film. And yeah, so we're just gonna, you know, go with the flow. So I'm going to start. Uh, he hangs out for like 10 minutes and then he's like, bye bye. Whatever. Anyway, we're going to start with my empties and I have all of it here. I had a pretty decent month in July, if I remember correctly. I mean, the, there's a lot of stuff here, but in terms of the totals, I don't have it off the top of my head. But let's, yeah, let's start with makeup. So I'm going to start with like primers and stuff. The first one is a holy grail. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. Oh my gosh. I have to have this in my collection like all the time. I use this every every time I do my makeup. It is the first step. I love this. I freaking love it. For somebody who has dry skin, it is a must now. I, I can't do my makeup without it. I love it so much. I don't care how expensive it is. I have found ways to purchase it like half off or discounted. Like all of my bottle or jars have been that way, but I would purchase it like full price if I needed to. I just, I haven't needed to ever, but I would if I needed to, I would. Holy grail. Next, I have a primer. This is by Smashbox. It's the Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is a deluxe size. It's like half, uh, let's see, 15 mils, like half an ounce. This is an okay primer. I can use this in the summer. I could not use this in the winter. My skin would be way too dry for this. Now, I had used about half of this earlier, like a couple of years ago, and then I pulled this into, I think, the Graveyard Project Pan and finished it. I may have that completely wrong. But yeah, I'm so glad this is out of my collection because it's I've been hanging around for a long time. So yeah, it's not a primer that I would ever repurchase, but I, you know, I didn't hate it when I used it. It's just not the right primer for my skin type. Next, I have a like illuminating base. This is by Burberry. It's a deluxe size sample of their Fresh Glow Num Luminous Fluid Base. I didn't really feel like this did very much. It was very sheer. I don't think I can get any more out of this. Yeah, no. I it not worth the money at all. This was, of course, a free sample. Would not, would not recommend, would not purchase. I have two foundations. The first one is by Lancome. It's the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. And this is in the shade Buff. I have one more of these, I think in the shade Ivory, but I was at least able to finish this one. I can't, I used to love this, but maybe my skin has gotten drier since I originally like started wearing this. I think this was like the first type of foundation I ever purchased. I used to hate foundation. Like I used to hate it. But when I first actually like tried a foundation. I think this was the first one I tried in like the like old school makeup forever foundation HD flawless something. But uh, this is just too drying for my skin. I makeup sticks are just not they're just not right for me. So I'm glad I was able to finish this up and use it and well use it obviously finish it up get it out of my collection. I need to finish the other one I have. Maybe next summer I can get it done. Would not repurchase. It's nice, just wouldn't repurchase it. The other foundation I finished is by L'Oreal. It's the True Match Super Blendable Makeup in the shade Natural Buff N3. This was okay. It, you know, it's not a foundation that I would repurchase. I don't know if you can. It's just not a holy grail foundation. I kind of felt like it caked up in certain situations. So yeah, I am glad to have it out of my collection, but I would not repurchase. I have a, I actually have two powders. They're both like teeny tiny minis. I have this one from Cover FX. It's the 
perfect setting powder and translucent light. So, I mean, it's teeny tiny. <laughs> I think that, what does this have? One gram. I mean, this took no time to use. I think I took this traveling with me and got it finished. And then this one was from So Schwa. So it was like a really small sample of the Guerlain Meteorites, Meteorite Pearls and Claire. I got this years ago and I finally finished it. It got pulled in my turn and burn. I had this with my foil samples and I, it, you know, it sat around for months and I finally used it. Not impressed, would not purchase those. Now let's go to, I wanna save the lippies for last cause I always am like proud of the lip products that I finish. So let's go through mascaras. I have a ton of mascaras here. I don't know how I got through so many. I mean, I go through a lot of mascaras, but there's a lot here. Okay, from Thrive Cosmetics, I have the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I just am not a fan of this. It's not the mascara for me. I just didn't, I don't know. It was, I don't like it. That's all I can say about it. Let's just, let's just stop there. From Lancome, I have the Definicils Mascara. This is deluxe size. I love this mascara. It's like one that I would absolutely repurchase. Love. Lancome Mascara is an I jive. I have from Tarte the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, another mascara that I absolutely love. Would absolutely repurchase that. Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara, Holy Grail, will always have one of these in my collection. Love, love, love. From Tarte, I have the Big Ego Mascara. I'm trying to remember, I actually didn't mind this, especially over the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. I don't, I, lo I love the wand. The wand is fantastic. I, lo I love hourglass wands. I might repurchase this if it was discounted, you know. I didn't mind it. Hi! You're back! Yeah! It's gonna go in the window. And this one, I okay, I didn't finish this particular mascara in this month. I had finished it like a couple months ago and it disappeared on me and I found it and I was like, well, let me just put it on my empties. It's the Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara, and it nothing to write home about. I would not purchase that. I have one eyeliner. This is by Physicians Formula. It's the Custom Enhancing Eyeliner in a purple shade. This comes as part of a trio. It's part of the Brown Eyes Trio. This purple liner is okay. It's not a... Like it looks dark when you swatch it, but it does not go on that pigmented in the waterline. I don't put colored pencils on my lash line because I just, I like black eyeliner on my lash line. So this is not, their black eyeliner is on not, it's not bad actually. I like the black eyeliner, but I don't like the purple one. All right, last three products are lip products. So from NARS, I have the Velvet Lip Glide in Bound, this deluxe size sample. I was so glad to finish this. I love this product. I have a couple more minis of this. It's such a great, there's not very much on this. It's such a great shade, it's so pretty. And this shade in particular, it's stunning. But yeah, I finished this up, yay! I have from Fresh, their Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Balm. It's this little deluxe size sample. I have so many of these I need to get through. So I was happy to get one of these done. You can see it's all finished. And um, I don't go digging as you guys know, but I did finish what was outside of the tube. This is a okay lip balm. I don't love the fragrance of these. And they just, they're so soft and they break and it's irritating. So I am going to be strong this year and not buy any of the packs during the holidays because that's how I've ended up with so many, even if they go on sale. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And then from Too Faced, I have the Hangover RX Pillow Balm and I have the Scent Watermelon Kiss. This was a part of a pack during last year's holidays. And I liked this. I It's not a holy grail, but I liked it. And in fact, I've kind of been thinking about it lately. I'm like, mm, kind of been missing that. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Maybe I liked it more than I thought I did. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's 
I think because it goes on, it's a, I mean, when they say it's a pillow balm, it feels really nice going on. Maybe that's why I'm, I don't know. That's why I miss it. It smelled really good. It was on sale during like Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty late recently. I didn't get any because I have several minis and then I, I picked up a full size at the CCO recently. They had the scent mango and I was like, let me just smell this. And it smelled amazing. So I was like, I'll just get the full size. So I don't need any, but yeah, that's all the makeup. Now let's go to skincare. I'm going to start with like cleansers and I have a, oh, this one. I'm so excited. It's out of my collection. I mean, I love it, but oh my gosh, the Bobbi Brown soothing cleansing oil. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This took me seven months to finish. I started this at the beginning of the year and it's finally done. I've had this in my collection forever. And of course, I mean, it, it was, it held up very, very well. It's a beautiful cleansing oil. I love this one. It's so good. It's so good. It's a very expensive cleansing oil. And this is a like, like, like a huge size. I mean, it's a, I guess, what do they call it? Super size? It's 400 mils. I think their normal size is 200. So this is a like super size. And I, I think it normally retails for 50 bucks or something like that. And I got this at the CCO. And see, I always mention the CCO. So the CCO is the cosmetics company store. And it is usually found in an outlet mall. It's an Estee Lauder like outlet store and you'll find Estee Lauder companies like Mac, Bobby Brown, Clinique, uh, Tom Ford, Joe Malone. What else can I think of? Did I say Clinique? You'll find those brands there and products, Smashbox, and you'll, everything there is typically between 40 to 50% off. And then sometimes they'll have extra discounts on top of that. So I typically will stop by there as I'm on my way out to our, our my family's lake house or, you know, just if I'm in the area, which I'm usually not because it's kind of out a uh, far away from me. I consider far away from me because I live like in, I live in the city of Dallas. So anyway, they had this there. They don't always have this product there, but they had it there this one time and it was really, it was a really good deal to purchase it. So I, I bought it there. All that to say, this is very nice. I loved it. I'm so glad it's out of my collection because it took a long time to finish. Okay, the next cleanser that I finished is by It Cosmetics. It's the Confidence in a Cleanser. This is a deluxe size sample. It was part of my 100 Colorful, colorful Empties. And this is an okay cleanser. It's not my favorite. It's a little bit stripping for my skin. So I am I prefer to use this type of cleanser in the summer when my skin is not super dry. But it's okay. It's just not a favorite for me. So from Clinique, I have an eye makeup remover. This is the Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. It's a like a deluxe size sample. This has 1.7 ounces, 50 mils. This is okay. I have come to the realization that my favorite eye makeup remover is by Lancome. It's the Bifacil. I, I'm using the one from Neutrogena right now. I'm not loving it. I don't know. I just, um, maybe I'm going through a phase. I have an essence. I have the Meiku Bra Sauce. So I finished this uh, obviously in July. This was in a project. I can't remember. I, I was in a project. Anyway, I really do like this product. I love, I mean, I love this product product and I have several backups, so I don't need to purchase another one, but it's lovely and it's lovely. It's lovely. We'll just say that. I have several serums from Skin Inc. I have the My Daily Dose Serum Cocktail. So I had taken this with me on my trip to Turkey and I finished it right whenever I came back. This is okay. It's not, it didn't wow me. I mean, it was fine. Like, you know, it, again, didn't wow me. I would not repurchase that. From Timeless, I have the Coenzyme Q10 Serum. 
I really do enjoy this one. I feel like it's hydrating. Like this one has more substance to it than that other one from Daily Dose. I feel like that one's really watery. This one feels very like more emollient and like it has more stuff in it. I don't know. Yeah, like it has more. I could feel like it does more stuff to my skin than the other one does. And maybe because my skin is dry, I feel like it needs that versus that other one that feels like it's just like poof, it's gone. So I really do enjoy this one. I would totally repurchase that. From Estee Lauder, I have the Advanced Net Repair Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex. Another one I absolutely love. This one went traveling with me and I think it got like refilled again as I was using it while I was traveling. So it's a little beat up, but I really do love this product and would totally repurchase and have. From Sunday Riley, I have the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. Holy Grail Lactic Acid Treatment or like acid for me. Love this product. Would totally repurchase and have many times over. And those are all of the serums that I went through. I have several moisturizers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is actually a, mo a cleanser. It looks like um, their moisturizer. That's why I got it mixed up. This is my belief. It's their Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. I really do love this. It smells lemony. And it's a lovely, lovely makeup remover cleansing balm. It's really, really nice. I would repurchase this. I don't need to. I have so many cleansing balms right now. If it came up half off somewhere, sure. I pick one or two up. I don't need to, though. Okay, some moisturizers. From Tatcha, I have the water cream. I normally love this product. This one may be may have been really old because I felt like this was different than the other water creams that I that I've used. So I don't know. I I kind of feel like maybe this may have been like an older version, but I really do love this moisturizer normally. But I will say for my dry skin, I prefer the dewy cream. Oh, it's so good. And I think the last moisturizer I have is by Algenist. It's the Firming and Lifting Cream. I don't even know if they still have this. This is an older product from Algenist. I feel like Algenist has gone through a couple of, like, um, facelifts. So, yeah, I don't know if they still have this product. I have a couple of oils. I have from Volition the Hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. I love this stuff. Ulta just had this in their 21 Days of Beauty. I almost picked one up, but I didn't because I am currently working on one and I think I have at least one more backup. So I didn't need it, but I almost got it. I did. I, by the time I got to my cart, it had already sold out. I was like, okay, fine. It's a great oil. It's a great spot, like, like removing spots, like product. And then it's an oil form. I freaking love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Holy grail. And then from Biosense, I have the 100% squalene oil. I love this product, but I actually kind of think I like it better for the body versus skin, my face skin, because I think it's better. For me, I think I need a bit more hydration for my face. So for me, I think this is a better product for my body than my face but I really do enjoy it. Now, this is a product that, this is a sunscreen, and I found this hiding like in a nook and cranny, and I'm like, I don't think I, I did not use this in July, but I am gonna talk about it because I used it at some point this year, and I didn't get to talk about it with you guys. This is a lovely sunscreen if you have dry skin. By Shiseido, the ultimate sun protection lotion. Oh, if you have dry skin, this is so, so nice. It's a very thick sunscreen. It's like kind of an oily consistency. It lays beautifully on the skin. Holy grail, especially in the winter. I love this. Love it. It's so good. Okay. I, I think the rest of these are masks. So first off, I'll talk with an eye, talk about an eye mask. A set of eye masks. This is by Generation Skins, the Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. These are nice. 
I I was watching somebody recently and I think they mentioned that these fell down their face. I think when I first started using them, they did fall a little bit. As you get through them, they fall less. I did like how they had a lot of juice to them, but that did mean that they were, whenever they have a lot of juice, then they do kind of fall a bit. But the ones I'm using now didn't have enough juice. So there was a little bit of a happy medium. But yeah, these were nice. I didn't mind them. And then I have like jar masks. I did not like this one at all. This is by Glam Glow. It's the Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. Nope, would not repurchase. This came as part of a BoxyCharm box. So I did not purchase this. Would not ever. I have two from Peter Thomas Roth. Finally, I got some of these done. The Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. I actually have come around on this product when I used a small much smaller sample of this last year i think or maybe earlier this year now i can't remember i i didn't like it because it i used it like at the sink and it was like little beads everywhere or like little scrubby bits everywhere it was hard to get off but i use this in the shower i use this product in the shower and i like that a lot better i feel like it kind of acts as like a it's a physical exfoliator that I, I think of it as a physical physical exfoliator not as a mask and that's how I use this and I really enjoyed it that way so I would repurchase this if I didn't have a bunch of exfoliates by Kate Somerville because I like to I like to use those in the same way and then I have the cucumber gel mask and this is okay. I don't think I would ever purchase the full size of this. I have, there's other hydrating masks in a tub that I prefer. And then I have three sheet masks. They're both by Tony Moly and they're the I'm Aloe sheet masks. So I got through three of these. And that is all the skincare. All right, moving on to body care. I have, well, I'm, I feel like this is kind of a product that's a bridge between skincare and body care. I have a lip scrub. I never know where to put this product. <laughs> so this is by the brand NCLA. I put it, I kept it in its box or I put it back in its box because it does not, the packaging does not have the scent. And I just, one thing I do not like about this product, but this was in the scent peach. So here is the packaging and I don't love this. The, the scent is great. The, the scrubbing is great. The formula is very waxy. So after you've scrubbed your lips, there's this residue that is left on there and I don't like it. I feel like I have to like, I, mm -mm, I would not repurchase this. I got a bunch of these off of BoxyCharm, like the Mega Drop Shop, and they were part of a like a duo with the scrub and the lip balm and I haven't tried the lip balm yet but I was like let me try the lip scrub mm, I would not repurchase this I think I have finished another one of these I think I finished another one in August and that's the other thing they go I go I go through these really quickly there's how much in here 15 mils I can't remember how much is in the Sarah half ones but I don't go through those very fast I just, I'm, I'm, this is not, I'm not a fan of this one. Would not repurchase. All right, moving on to body care. I have a hand cream from Philosophy. The Hands of Hope hand cream in the scent, green tea and avocado. This was a nice hand cream. The scent is not my favorite, but it was fine. And, you know, it's, it's not a scent that I would repurchase, but the hand cream was nice. I have other hand creams that I prefer, so I don't think I would repurchase this one but it was fine. From Rituals, I have the Ritual of Ayurveda Harmonizing Foaming Shower Gel. This is Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. This came in my Rituals Advent Calendar from last year. This was a great travel product. I just threw it in my travel bag when I went to Spain. No. Yeah, Spain. And it was great. I mean, I was able to finish it the, it took me a week to finish, but it was, it was perfect actually. And I mean, my only complaint was it was hard to kind of start the product off by pushing this down. But other than that, it was it was perfect. I can't complain. It was nice. 
the formula was nice. I have a shave soap from Scentsy. It's the B Blue Agave and Melon Cream Shave Soap. This is a really nice product. They came out with this during the summer collection last year, and I have not seen it since. So I don't know if they're ever going to come back with it, but I really did enjoy this. I would repurchase this product again, this formula. I don't need to, but I would. It's very nice. I have two products from Bath & Body Works. I have the Moisturizing Body Wash in Waikiki Beach Coconut. This is Tropical White Coconut, Saltwater Breezes, and Sun Bleached Woods. The scent is fantastic. And I really do like this formula for their body wash. It's really nice, but I just don't see it very often. Oh, it's so good. I freaking love the Waikiki Beach scent, Beach Coconut scent. It's so good. And then to go with it, I used the body cream and the same scent. So love, 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 love. Hi, you gonna take a nap? Yeah. Okay, the last body product I have is a sugar scrub. This is by The Bathing Garden. It's the Kefir Lime and Orange Creamsicle. I probably said that wrong. Castor oil sugar scrub and this was really nice. I think I took this one traveling with me as well It was really lovely. It smelled really good nice and summery. I enjoy I enjoy the bathing gardens sugar scrubs they are so good now moving on to like random like miscellaneous stuff I have a couple uh, well not a couple. I have a bunch of fragrances like sample fragrance samples and I'm just gonna show these to you guys I think I finished these in probably June and July I'm thinking I don't think I finished these all in July, but I have by Joe Malone, the scent Fig and Lotus Flower. I talk about these in my Turn and Burn project, so you can check that out. But Clean Reserve Blonde Rose. I have Marc Jacobs Decadence. I would not purchase any of the Marc Jacobs fragrances. Dior Sauvage. Not a fan for me. Elizabeth and James White Tea. Mm. Nope. Skylar Meadow. This surprised me. I really did enjoy that one a lot. Bastide Neroli Lumiere. Oh my God. Love, 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 love. And then I've never heard of this. Wild Fox. Oh, I don't know. I just used it. <laughs> okay. Moving on to other things. Now this I used in my hair, but it's a skincare product normally. Josie Marin's 100% Pure Argan Oil. So I used up this full size. It took me a long time to use this up because I pretty much just use two to three drops every day, every other day to scrunch out the crunch in my hair. So I finally used up a full size. It took forever. I think I've been working on that bottle for two and a half years. Two and a half years. Wow. And then the, la the second hair care product I have is by Aveeno. This is the Rose Water and Chamomile Blend Shampoo. And I want to say I got this when I first went curly because I, I watched some or I read a blog post of somebody who had wavy hair and I was like, I have wavy hair. I have curly hair. And they were like, yeah, for people who have wavy hair, we need blah, blah. And I so I bought this as, on their recommendation. I, I need like a conditioning co-wash, not a product like this. So I finally used it up. I think I used this to help whenever I colored my hair to get the silicones out. But I have a, another favorite shampoo I talked about in my curly hair favorite video, which I will link up here. And so this, is, I don't even think they make this anymore, to be honest. I think they have just, I don't think you can get this anymore. I could be wrong. Oh, I have another fragrance. I have a fragrance. I forgot about this one. This is by, this is was a feat by Sol de Janeiro. The Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad this is done. I mean, this is a nice spray. It does not last on your, on my skin, but it, and, and, yeah, and it took me forever. I'm so glad it's done. It smelled really good. Really good, but yeah. So glad it's done. That was part of like a, a holiday sampler or, you know, like, you know what I mean? Two uh, hand soaps from Bath and Body Works. I have the Gentle Foaming Hand Wash in Georgia Peach. And this is Sweet Peach Orange Blossom and Honey Suckle Nectar. This is so good. You guys, I have so many hand soaps. 
this is the reason why I talk about them because there are so many. I've got to get these like, I'm not allowed to buy any more until like they're whittled down and I need to get through my bar soap too. There's so many. Oh my gosh. Done. And the second one I got through is by, it, also about the bar This is pomegranate lemonade, juicy pomegranate, zested lemons, and sugar crystals. This was awesome. I freaking love this one. And I want to say I haven't bought a single hand soap this year. Yes. This is, does not count towards my low, would not count towards my low buy, but I do want to talk about it. This is a nail polish. It's actually a refill. This is my favorite top coat by Glisten and Glow. It is their, just their top coat. It used to be called like HK Girl or something like that. And they just now call it their top coat. There's a, actually a little bit left there on the bottom. But I, I was like, well, it's, there's, it's too hard to get it out. So you can buy a bottle, like a regular nail polish bottle. You can buy, I think this was the, this is the two ounce refill. You can also buy a four ounce refill. The two ounce I want to say is like $26. The four ounce is like 54 or something like that. I mean, it's pricey to get the four ounce. I want to say I've purchased the four ounce before, it took me years to get through. So I just purchased the two ounce last time. This is a fantastic top coat. If you have used, if you like, there's a couple of things. If you like a fast drying top coat that's super shiny. If you've used the Sesh Vite top coat and it starts to like shrink the sides of your nail after you apply it. Like for me, it starts to shrink the polish from the top of my nail and also the sides. I hate it. It drives me crazy. I, I go through phases of like, let me go back to Sesh Vite. And after like a third of the bottle, it starts to shrink my polish. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm over you. We're breaking up. And I go back to this. This is a, this is my favorite, my favorite. Now, anytime... I'm like doing nail polish one on one. Anytime you, any top coat you use, you're constantly opening it. And the, there are certain ingredients that evaporate out of the nail polish. So you're always going to have, it's always going to get gloopy after a certain period of time. So for me, halfway through the bottle, it starts to get kind of stringy and gloopy. So that's why I like to purchase the refill because when it gets about halfway through the bottle, I just refill it with the ref refill it with the bottle that I have and then it's fine. Or you can get some polish thinner, add some po polish thinner to the gloopy part and then refill the bottle full with your little two ounce of your full, this, full, this bottle. So then now you've got a full size bottle. It just makes a huge difference. So yeah, I already have a, I already purchased another two ounce refill because I cannot live without this top coat. It's so good. All right, a couple of random things. I went with, I went through two bottles of my Daiso puff sponge that I use to clean my makeup sponges. I usually do a mass cleaning of my makeup sponges. I have, I need to do them right now. Like the little bin where I put them all is full because I just wash a bunch at once. So I'll probably have another two in my September empties because I'm filming this in September. <laughs> so yeah, I went through two. I think I had to buy another three or six pack in August because I was out. And I also went through a bottle of 100% acetone. I don't use this to take off my nail polish, but I use it to clean up the sides of my cuticles. And sometimes if I need have like really difficult to remove polish, I may use acetone, but for the most part, I just use Zoyer uh, Remove nail polish remover for that. And I use this to clean up my cuticles. I have got to the point where I don't have to do that that often, but every once in a while I do have to re replace this. So yeah, the acetone, this is just Walgreens brand. I just buy it wherever I can buy it. I think last time I bought it from Ulta because I was placing an Ulta order. So yeah, that I think is all of my empties. <laughs> I do have a couple of declutters. I have the Hourglass Film Noir Fill, 
full spectrum mascara it's a deluxe size sample this dried out on me so it's a declutter i have the bite beauty and i decluttered this like just recently but it's fine it's like it doesn't matter it's all one big year the by beauty a high pigment lip pencil in chablis this has like little like ridges not ridges i thought of the word the other day this has little bumps in the product i was using this in my oh now i can't remember what product it was in i just filmed the video too and I was like, yeah, I just, I'm not, I'm not comfortable using this. It doesn't smell funny, but it feels bad. It feels wrong. So this is getting decluttered. Good riddance. I rolled this into my Nightmare on Panning Street project, and it's a palette by Milani. It's the Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection in the shade Plum Basics. And I used, the, I, wanted, I rolled this into use five times. I used it once, and no. I mean, I could not get this to work at all. It just blended away. It was atrocious. I was like, oh, nope, I am not going through that again. That is gone. I have too many pretty eyeshadow palettes to fiddle with that business. <laughs> and then this this product here by Tree Hut, this is the Exfoliating Mud Mask. I used this a couple of times and then like it just all crusted up and dried out. I mean, it's hard as a rock. So, I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to count this as an empty because I didn't use it all. So it's being decluttered. It's just, yeah. It's, uh, I didn't like it anyway. Like I try, I used the few times that I did use it. I couldn't get it to emulsify or blend to be able to really apply it. So really wasn't that great anyway so those are my few empties I think that's it I have a few things that I gifted to some friends who were over here this past weekend but I'd have to go and look and see what I gave them because or what they actually ended up taking I'll probably talk about that in August so in the month of July I used up 26 full-sized items and I used up 25 deluxe sized items. So it was a pretty good month. It was much better month than I had in June. So I'm pretty excited about that. I did get rid of a bunch of stuff in June in terms of decluttering. Um, I have not entered those declutters into my spreadsheet. So I'll figure all that out later and I'll tell you why I'm not really fiddling with it right now because of the low buy situation but let me talk about the value of everything and there are some things that don't count so the value of the items that i used in the month of july is 977 dollars july was a crazy crazy month ah the bobby brown cleanser was actually 83 dollars the 200 mil i think is 50 that full, the 400 mil was $83. So that was a big one. The Glam Glow is $60. The Glam Glow Youth Mud, no, what is it? Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment is $60. The Vitamin Rich Face Base by Bobbi Brown is $66. That, that Lancome Foundation is $46. And then all these other things like add up you know the volition correcting oil is 49 the josie marin argan oil is 49 dollars the generation skin eye masks are 49 dollars i mean that's crazy yeah so everything just added up to where it was 900 and what did i say 97 977 dollars now there were things that five items that don't count so let me share with you what those are that would not count towards my low buy. So I actually have one more item that I accidentally put in my bin for next month, but it's for July. So I have this product from Uncle Funky's Daughter. It's a hair care product. It's the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. I love this product. 
However, I'm a little perturbed by something with this product. So I talked about this in my favorites for curly hair video that I just posted not too long ago, at least when I'm by the, from when I'm filming. Who knows from whenever I'm posting this that this product does not have protein. Well, my assumption is that it does not have protein because the ingredients on the back of my bottle, they it doesn't have any protein on here. But when I Google this product and when I look on their website, it does. So I'm very concerned. I'm first off irritated that if this product does have protein, that it's not on the my bottle. So I don't know if they've reformulated the product since I purchased this and now it does have protein. I don't know if my version has protein. So because my hair does not like protein, which is why I'm irritated. So I need to figure that out. I am reserving judgment until I know whether or not this has protein. I have in the past really enjoyed this product for what it does to my hair in terms of curl stimulation, but if it has protein, then it is making it dry. So more to come, but this is one of the products that does not count towards my like low buy be or, um, yeah, does not count towards my low buy points. I should say, because I just purchased this. It's not a product that I, I don't have a lot of these, right? I just use it. I purchase it when I need it. This, I've counted this towards my empty number, but it does not count towards my low buy. Same goes with the Aveeno shampoo and this Volition Hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. I have a couple of backups, but there's nothing like this in my collection. I don't have any other unspottable or <laughs> spot removing products. And this is the only one I purchased. So that doesn't count towards my low buy bank. And neither does the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base because nothing else compares to this. Nothing compares to you. So this doesn't count towards my low buy bank. Shush. So with the one full size with the palette that I'm decluttering and the three deluxe size items that I'm decluttering would mean that I would have 24 items going towards my low buy bank. Now, all of that to say, my low buy is shot to shit so bad to where I'm just like, like it's so difficult to tra keep track of everything and to come on here and show everything that I'm just like, hmm, this video takes so long. I, I mean, my bin is like, I'm not even showing you everything and the bin is overflowing. So I'm going to try my best to keep track of everything, but let's just call it what it is. I failed. I'm just going to, own it. I, you know, I'm going to try the rest of the year to be more cognizant because at the end of the day, I can't fit anything else in what I've got. So I have told myself that I need to like slow my roll because I can't fit anything else in my space. And my house is not that big. So I can't add more space like stuff to store stuff. So I got to slow my roll, but at the same time, like at this point, I'm just like, I don't, I'll, I'll try to keep track. We'll see. I oh, don't, I mean the damage from July and August and halfway through September. Ooh. So let me just show you what I got in July and you know, I'll, I'll go back and do some calculations, but it ain't pretty. I'm just going to say right now, it ain't pretty. I need to reapply my lippy. I mean, these videos are an hour, like two hours long filming. Okay. I'm going to start with the Nordstrom anniversary sale. That's how long ago this was. <laughs> I went a little bit crazy, especially with Lancome stuff because Nordstrom had several like Lancome packs and sets during the anniversary sale. And they were like things that I was specifically looking for. And I was so excited. So two of them are mascara sets. The first one is the Hypnos Drama little set. Well, not little. It has two full size of the Hypnos Drama mascara. 
one of the Sills booster and then this Bifacil, you know, a little deluxe size sample of the Bifacil. I love all of these. I mean, well, the Sills booster is okay. I still love the Estee Lauder little black primer better, but I'll use the Sills booster. And so I saw this, this is, this is 50 bucks. So basically like you're paying for the mascaras and then you're getting these two free. I love the Hypnostrama mascara so much. Well, it's 50, it was $58. I love it so much that I was like, yeah, I, I immediately was like, I'm definitely getting that. So similarly, they had the Definisil set. And again, I love, the thing is you never see Lancome mascara other than Monsieur Big, like at a discount. It's always Monsieur Big. And that mascara is okay. Like I, when I, the last time I tried it, I didn't think that much of it. I did purchase it during the Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty because I want to try it with the Estee Lauder Little Black, Little Black Primer. I didn't really like it the last time I tried it, but I'm like, well, maybe it'll do better with that primer versus the Sills Booster. But I love these mascaras so much and you never see them discounted. So when I saw them in these little sets, I, I grabbed them. So I grabbed those two. And then I grabbed the, this pack because again, as I've mentioned, I've come to really appreciate this eye makeup remover. Like, yeah, I, I cannot say enough things about how amazing this eye makeup remover is. So yeah, two full sizes. Okay. We don't need to talk about that. The next thing I grabbed is an Estee Lauder kit with this eye cream. I freaking love this stuff. And it was such a great deal. This has the advanced repair, not advanced night repair eye supercharged gel cream. I freaking love this stuff. So it came with the full size and then three little minis. I can't remember the price of this. It doesn't say it on here, but yeah, it was a great, great deal. So I picked this up. I, I couldn't pass it up because it was such a great discount. I freaking love it. Oh, one thing I forgot to say, because of all that Lancome stuff I bought, I ended up getting a free full size of this Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Serum. Concentrate. It was a full size. This is a one ouncer that came as a free sample. <sighs> this is like a $70 product or something. Nice deal. I ended up getting a bunch of Mac little sets too. So I love Mac Fix Plus. That is no surprise to anybody. So I grabbed this kit from, from Mac. It's two of their full size plus one deluxe size of the rose scent. And I, people, I know people complain about the spray on Mac Fix Plus. I don't have a problem with it. I don't necessarily need like a super fine mister. I like my face to be drenched with, with Mac Fix Plus. I love it. I have no, I don't have any problem with it. Then I grabbed this Lush Lip Wear Mini Mac lipstick uh, with this little five lipstick kit. If I can talk. And I thought this was a super cute kit. They, all these lip colors were so pretty. So it has the shades. So the five, I think these are all limited edition shades. That has, let's see, hashtag self care, no troubles. Oh wow, I can't read these. Gratitude, attitude, velour contour, and friendly imitation. So I'll swatch these for you. So there are the five shades. I thought it was such a pretty little kit of the of the products. Of course, this one's my favorite, but they're all really pretty. Yeah, all five minis. I love mini lipsticks. <laughs> the last matte kit I got was this Essential Lip Wear Kit in pink. I originally did not pick this up. And then I was, I think I went back a second time. I went back for the Estee Lauder eye set. And I was reading reviews on this one and someone posted and said, oh, it's more mauve than pink. And I was like, sold. Because I prefer mauve over pink. And so when I read that, I was like, okay, I'm sold. Now this, the lip pencils is in, in the shade Soar. And I definitely, I think I already have Soar, which is fine. 
So the lipstick shade is Cozy Kisses. It's an amplified creme lipstick. So here's the shade. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And then the this is a lip glass in the shade Nostalgia. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it, I'm so glad I went and read the reviews on this because the mauve was way up my alley. I'm happy with all the stuff I got from Nordstrom's. I kind of wish that they had the Vitamin Rich Face Base kit, but I didn't see it. Now, it may have been there earlier because I'm not like the highest level at Nordstrom. But what I got, I was happy with. Now, I did want to share a couple of things that I found while I was traveling in Spain. So when we were in San Sebastian, I was walking around and I found a Sephora. And so I walked, of course, of course I found the Sephora. So I walked in and they had a like clearance shelf and I found the Natasha Denona mini Metropolis palette. And I can't remember how much it was, but it was a pretty good deal. So I was like, oh, you know, I think this is really pretty. I'll pick it up. And I already lost the little brush that goes with it. But yeah, I, I thought this was really pretty. I don't have the full size of this or the large palette, but I was like, this is a really fun, like nostalgic makeup item from Spain that I can buy. And it was, you know, affordable. It was like 10, 10 or $12 or Euro and the Euro and the dollar were the same. <laughs> so I picked that up. And then one other like thing that I was really excited to eventually find it took me a while to find these is this little like Vaseline lip product but the packaging is what got me it's by this brand called I thought it was by the brand Perfumeria Gal but I don't see that on here so it just says Gal Collection but look at this packaging so I was reading I like kind of went online and I was like what like what makeup should I buy in Spain and there wasn't a lot, but this came up and there's, uh, there were a bunch of different scents. So I ended up picking up four for myself and there's, I think there's six different scents. So this one is in red current. This one is in vanilla and this one is peach. I just, I love the packaging so much and violet, which I thought was really interesting, but uh, I had to pick up this one. It's turquoise. <laughs> So I thought these were like fun souvenir items from Spain. I, they're treasured. I don't really feel like I should count this against me because they're nostalgic, but whatever. I've got a few things from TJ Maxx that I found. So the first thing, I, I've never seen this at Sephora, but I was like, that looks really interesting. This is a clean velvet cream blush palette. Has anybody else seen this before? It's really beautiful. So there was a bunch of these. There was a lighter version, which is this one. And then there was a deeper version. And I mean, they both looked really nice. So here is the packaging. It actually comes like this with this rubber, with this band around it. And here is, I've already swatched this, but there are the shades. I mean, it seems really nice. Has anybody tried this? kind of feels a little moosey. I mean, do I need to use this up fast? There are the four shades. It's really pretty. But it was funny because they had a bunch and then the next time I went, they were all gone. Like really quickly, they were all gone. And then I was super excited to see this. This is the a palette by Glamlight. It's the Cherry Icy palette. Now I do need to sanitize one of the shades in here because it was gouged out but I ended up getting it for $5, maybe even less than that because it was already clearanced. And I think I got it for $3 <laughs> because it was gouged out. I was like, can you discount this even further? So you can see it's, it had, I think I, I swatched the rest of these shades, but this one was the one that was gouged out. So I haven't touched that one yet, but I have swatched the rest of these. So here's this palette. I'm not going to swatch it because we're going to be here all day. This video is already, for me, an hour and 20 minutes. But this is really pretty. I mean, so maybe I will swatch. Maybe I'll swatch a couple of these mattes because they're really, they're really lovely. I mean, they're lovely. Really nicely pigmented. 
I'm hoping they blend out really nicely. So far, I hear wonderful things about Glamlight. I have a couple of their palettes. I have not played with them yet. So anyway, I was really excited to see this. I also saw this BH Cosmetics Chocolate Cherry Truffle Blush Palette. And I've seen some of the blush palette pal palettes. I've seen some of the blush palettes from BH Cosmetics there before. But this one was intact and I felt like the colors were really nice. I'm so excited that BH Cosmetics is back. That makes me happy. I'm hoping for a comeback of the Sweet Shop palettes. Please, please, please. <laughs> please, please. This one was probably not the best purchase because I think it's way too light for me, at least now. By MAC, I found this uh, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC12. This is so not the shade for me right now. But it's been a long time since I've had a MAC foundation. So it was a good price. It was like $12. So I picked that up. I love MAC products. Ooh, this is really exciting. I went online and read reviews of this and there was nothing but like raving reviews of the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. And I didn't pick this up when it went on clearance at Sephora. So I found two of these at my local TJ Maxx. So I picked two, both of them up. I mean, I've heard nothing but rave reviews about this. So we'll see how that goes. I found this at Marshall's actually. This is a uh, blush from MAC. And I freaking love bl MAC blushes. They're so freaking good. This is the shade Harmony. And I asked uh, my friend Jen from Project Beauty about this blush. And she's like, it's gorgeous. She owns it. And she's like, it's amazing. And not a shade that I would normally purchase. But, you know, oh, gosh. Hmm. It's pretty. So grab that. Obviously. Oh, another product from Bite Beauty that I found is the Upswing Extreme Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. Again, I heard rave reviews about this. So, grabbed it. There was another, this, this is really interesting. A product that Bite Beauty never released, but I have seen all over TJ Maxx. The Boundary Breaker PGA Peptide Infused Setting Powder. Okay, I have, I, First off, I kept seeing like really deep shades in this powder, like, you know, shades that would not work with my skin tone. And then I finally saw the shade in pineapple and I was like, oh, okay, I can do pineapple. I think I can do that shade. So I grabbed it. Since then, I think in August I found lychee, which is more of a translucent shade. So I think this would work for me in the summer and then lychee would work for me more in the winter. But yeah, I read reviews and people were like, yeah, this is a product that they never came out with. And I think once they went belly up, they just, this product just went straight to TJ Maxx. But people were like, this is a really good powder, <sighs> which is crazy. So I have it in two shades now, but which is probably stupid. I love, I mean, I, I really do like, I prefer loose powders over pressed. And I wanted to try it. I think it was, how much was it? Eight bucks. We'll see how it is. Okay, let's talk about Ulta. So I think Ulta was having, a, they had a uh, like Estee Lauder event. And so I grabbed, like if you bought Estee Lauder, you got a sample. And I think it was like five times points or something. So I grabbed this. This Bronze Goddess Powder Bronzer in the shade Light. Now I also got the highlighter. The highlighter is way too dark for me. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. It's beautiful packaging, but it's not with me here. I have it sitting in my living room, contemplating what to do with it. But here, oh, here's the packaging. Oh wait, let me show you the. Ooh, beautiful. And there's the bronzer. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's too light for me now, but it's it'll be perfect for me in the winter. This is nice. I don't need the brush. The brush will just. Hmm. And there's like a bunch of minis and deluxe size samples that are sitting in a different bin. We're not gonna go through all that because we'll be here literally for two hours. 
I, I can't. So I've just, I'm, I'm setting that to the side and I'll deal with that later on my own. Uh, Ulta also had a like blush bronzer, 10 time point or five time point like day. So I grabbed a couple of things from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've been wanting this for a while and it was a perfect opportunity to pick this up. It's their stick blush and I got the shade Latte. So here's the packaging. And I always like pick, if there's an item at Sephora and Ulta, I always get it from Ulta. So on, uh, there's the blush there. <sighs> I love it. I love that shade. Oh, it's nice. Mm -hmm. And I think it has one of those like blender things on one end. I don't know if I'll use it. I might. But anyway, yeah. I was so excited. I've been wanting this for a long time. And I also picked up uh, this convertible color from Stila. And I got the shade Lilium. So I have one of these, but I don't have, I've been wanting this particular shade. So yeah, you know, it's so funny. This product has been around for so long. And now that like cream products are so, in, so in. I haven't even swatched this. Oh yeah, that's pretty much more cool toned. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I think, I think honestly, I feel like this and the Anastasia and the Stila I got at the same time. I think I stacked points that day. This is another find. This was at Marshall's actually. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Satin Lipstick in Praline. I was surprised to see this. I feel like this is a newer product from Anastasia. I could totally be wrong, but this is beautiful. Here's the, the packaging. Honestly, I feel like this is a little cheap for Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's plastic, but whatever, it's fine. This is such a gorgeous color. It's beautiful color. Love that. I think there was one other lip. Yeah. One other lip product I got from Marshall's. I went to a different Marshall's and they had a ton of Mac and I was surprised I didn't have this color. This is the shade Whirl. I was surprised I didn't have Whirl. I have the lip liner, but I don't have the lip lipstick. So I grabbed a Whirl. I think it's been on like my wish list to maybe get a freebie from all the like ones that I'm like uh, recycles that I return. But anyway, I grabbed the full size. So I placed an order from Sephora and I had been waiting for this product from Makeup by Mario, Makeup by Mario to come back in stock. And they had come back in stock at the end of June. So I bought one in June and then I was like, I want more. So I went back and got a second one. This is the shade. So I bought, I think, Mauve, Mauve Glow in June. And I went back and got Rose Glow, which is the shade. And I grabbed a couple of other things while I was at it. But here is Rose Glow. Well, there's the shade. This is one of those where you turn and it clicks. I'm running out of space here. I'm going to have to start over. There we go. Oh, it's so nice. I love these love this kind of formula it's like one of my favorite kind of form formulas so while i was at it i grabbed a couple of other things this i've been wanting to pick up for a while so i just grabbed it while i was grabbing that mario makeup by mario product this is the tarte breezy cream cheek duo and it has two products i mean look at this gorgeous packaging i love this cream product so much it has pink sands and it has the bronzer in Seychelles, which I haven't tried the bronzer yet. Mm. This makes my heart happy. So happy. I love this formula so much. That blush is very light for me right now, but it'll be great for me in the winter. It's so pretty. I love this formula so much. So much. So I Valerie purchased this before me and she's like, it's beautiful. So hmm. blame her. <laughs> oh yeah, I got one more thing. This was something else I wanted to try because I'm still trying to find the perfect dupe of ColourPop creme gel liner in Piggy Bank. I couldn't think of the name. It's such a beautiful color, but I 
freaking hate those lip liners and that shade you can't buy anymore anyway so i saw this color by house labs the liner and the color by house labs and this is the pencil here the box and what i saw online looked much more similar to piggy bank the this pencil does not this is the shade magenta shimmer so here is the pencil this formula seems like like it's gonna stick you know what i mean like it's a good formula but the shade is not the same so i i need to try it to see how it performs and how how impactful it is on the waterline so we'll see but i i wanted to try this out on the other side is like a, a brush i don't know why i would use that brush not sure but anyway i picked that up just to try it out now the other thing that other things i have in here are uh, national lipstick day stuff oh okay so my order from ulta was with points so my when i first started my low buy i was like anything with points doesn't count so my ulta order wouldn't count because you know points i have like with that without those points i still have eight thousand points at, at ulta that i need to work through but anyway i did go i grabbed some things from ulta so let me share with you what i got from ulta i grabbed two of these revlon these i love these things this is the revlon kiss balms these are so good my favorite is the coconut one tropical coconut i love them they're so good i'm kind of obsessed with them i don't ever talk about them but they're really good i grabbed the Too faced Too femme hardcore lipstick in sweet tea and i've been wanting one of these for a long time and they they were part of the sale so i grabbed it so here is the packaging it's super cute and i already gouged it out <laughs> there's the product it's a beautiful color more of a fall winter shade but yeah i freaking love that mm -hmm. this i've been wanting for a long time too and i've been waiting for it to go on sale it's by benefit it's their california kissin color balm it's this product here and this is the shade number 333 berry i actually went back i think as that 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 sale they have lasts a week and i went back a second time and bought one more of these and anyway here is before let me show you that here's the packaging it's kind of bulky which is what i don't like about it but here's the shade <laughs> another balmy product Boom. oh this was really exciting from estee lauder they had these pure color illuminating shine sheer shine lipsticks I had never really seen these before. So I have the shade Genius. I got a couple of these. I really do like Estee Lauder products. Here's the packaging. And there's the shade. I Can you believe I bought a red? Like, what's wrong with me? But it's kind of a sheer red. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. And it feels really nice. And the other shade I got is Pampered. There we go. Mm -hmm. that's more like it i mean they're both lovely but that's much more my typical speed really nice okay i grabbed a couple of the new wait is this the new the new l'oreal glow paradise lip products the, i got the shade rose mirage so it's this one here kind of replaced their old uh, now i don't even know what they're called glow glow something <laughs> My favorite varnish rosewood disappeared. So they're, I mean, they're still like this nice, you know, balmy lip product that I love, but they don't have my favorite shade. And then I have Mulberry Bliss. I think this one's my favorite one. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, I think there's three, three more. I, I've got a replacement of the nude stick gel gel color lip and cheek balm and pulse i'm currently panning this right now so i'm not going to open it and then i got this l'oreal what do they call these i hate whenever they don't tell you the product name on the packaging okay this is like a glow play lip 
gloss or something, you know? <laughs> and the shade Rose Mirage. It doesn't say it on the packaging. And here's what the doe foot looks like. I found this to be really interesting. And this is a really lovely gloss. I mean, it feels really nice going on my skin at least. Such a pretty color. I've had this in my like favorites, like loves list for a while, wanting to try it. Oops. And the last one I think I grabbed from Ulta, it, like a lip product, is this new, well to me new product from Flower Beauty. I I think they originally launched this on their website, Flower Beauty's website. I've been waiting to come to Ulta. I have been waiting for it to come to Ulta. It's their Perfect Pout Lipstick. And I grabbed the shade Blush Rose. So here's the shade. Yeah. I This is more of a moisturizing lipstick versus their like their flower palette lipsticks, which are more matte. And I have, I was so excited to see these on sale because I've been really wanting to try them. So I think those were all the ones from Ulta. Oh wait, here's that other, I'm sorry, this did come in July. This is that other California Kissin lip balm that I got. This is in Nude Rose. Yeah, so here's that shade there. This probably was the first one I bought and then I bought that other one second. This one actually has a pattern on it. You can see the other one did not. Yeah, I think that was everything that I, all the lip products I got from Ulta. I did buy a couple of lip, of lip liners, eyeliners, again, to try to see if I can find a dupe for piggy bank. I'm on the hunt guys, I'm on the hunt. The first one I got was not even close. I thought it would be, but ba based on the color on the website, and then I got it and I was like, this is not even close. It's by Tris, it's by Pacifica. The vegan eyeliner and the shade is lilac. What was I thinking? Like it says lilac and this is a lilac shade. Reminds me of the Marc Jacobs one that I'm currently working on in Mist Me. This seems more pigmented than that one. Like this one actually looks like it's got some oomph to it. Like it'll actually show up in the waterline. So we'll see. If it doesn't, I won't keep this because... I don't like the Misty Me shade. It does not show up at all. But if this one shows up, I may actually keep it because it may be a good, even a good base for other eyeliners. The, the one from Marc Jacobs doesn't do anything. The other one that I got is this Tres Luce. Is that how you say that? I'm probably saying it wrong. Beauty Intenso Liner. And I got the shade Confident. Again, this looked pretty intense like magenta fuchsia shade again it's more purple than i think i was anticipating so there's that shade and then here's that house lab shade so again not even close to piggy bank still on the hunt <laughs> i think this was a gift from mac my birthday gift from mac this is the Glow Play Lip Balm in the shade that tickles. So here it is. There's the shade right there. I love products like this. So that is everything that at least that I have to share. There's some like BoxyCharm stuff that's just that I'm keeping, but that's the big stuff, guys. All right, let me pull out my computer. Let me share with you how I'm doing with my pan your way to 5k. Ziggy's staring out the window. <laughs> okay. So over here, you're going to be able to see charts. As I mentioned, I used up $977 worth of stuff in the month of July. So I'm going to put a, like a chart that shows you the breakdown of all of the categories. So Skincare in the month of July was $520.50. Makeup was $263.50. Bath and Body was $73. Fragrance was $35. Hair Care was $38. And then Other was $47. Next, I'm going to show you a chart that shows you a breakdown of all of the categories for the month of July. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I will show you a, I have a cat hair right here. Oh, that's a big one. Wow. That's a Milo hair. Next, I'm going to show you a chart that breaks down 
all of the months so far and the breakdown for all of the categories. It's really interesting how skincare is like up one month, down one month, and it's literally just like this. All the other categories seem to be pretty consistent, but skincare goes up and down, up and down, up and down. It's really funny. So that is so far how we're doing for the entire year in terms of the breakdown for all the categories that, that I break all of my um, products into. Now for my total so far for the year. So I actually did break the 5k mark in the month of July. In my grand total for the year, I'm at $5,128. So I was kind of expecting that I would hit 5k this year. I don't know that I knew I would hit it this soon, but yeah, I did hit 5k in July. I am trying to use up $2,000 worth of makeup as well in this year. <laughs> so, so far I've used up $1,629 worth of makeup. So I've got a little bit, a little bit ways to go, but I think I'm well on my way to hitting that mark. I don't really know what my goal will be moving forward. Oh, uh, you know, maybe hitting $3,000 in, um, $3, in skincare won't be a problem. Let's see. What will be my goal? Keep using what I'm using. We'll just see how things go. I, I wonder what, what was my what was my total last year? Surpass my total last year. I guess that's my goal. I'll try to put here somewhere what my total usage was last year so definitely surpass my totals from last year i'll scooch back over so anyway that is going to be it for today i know this video is super long i am so sorry i cannot seem to get this video shorter than an hour like it's ridiculous that is going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you're doing well and staying safe please hit that subscribe button and i will see y'all next time bye Look who's here. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Ziggy? What are you doing? Hi. Are you going to are you going to hang out with us today? Is that what you're going to do? Let's hope he hangs out. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hey, baby. Hi. What? Come here. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hey, baby. You're restless. Oh, you want pets. You want pets. Oh my goodness. You want pets. Okay. Well, then that's what you get. He is handing it up. So you want me to keep going? He doesn't want me to stop. I know.
See, Ziggy is not a lap kitty. He comes up to me and like, like meows at me to pet him, but he doesn't want me to pick him up. He wants me to like, you know, pet him where he is. That's what we do. All right. He saw Marley from good, for not from good jeans. <laughs> hmm. And is, and then, oh, <laughs> and then to go with, with Wait, wait. And then to go, wait, wait. <laughs> and I'm just going to show these these to you. The first one. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will. Oh. Please hit that subscribe. Oh. Dang it. Okay, bye.